If you have seen anything about the man report set, um, and if I ask you how many lines of code of Python do you do you need to plot uh, the escape velocity of the Mandelbrot set, how many would you think? Uh, many people will answer in the order of hundreds or maybe thousands to just plot these vivid details. But I can show you how to plot the escape velocity of the Mandelbrot set in less than 10 lines of Python. And these are the 10 lines. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. So last time we checked the Lorentz attractor, uh, which is a very interesting and important result in chaos theory. Today I want to explore the Mandelbrot set. And uh, whenever you see Mandelbrot set, you usually see these colorful plots with a lot of pointy things. But uh, I think it's very interesting to, to figure out how easy you can actually get this result. So to do that, we're just going to explore it using uh, Python and JupyterLab. In this case, uh, we just use the Mandelbrot formula which is, we say the, the Mandelbrot set is the set of numbers uh, n such that if you apply this uh, iteration c goes to c times c plus n remains finite. So that sounds easy but still not very clear so let's try to use Python to figure it out. So for example if n is equal to 0 and c is equal to 0 and then you take c is equal to c times c plus n. Then uh, for n equals to zero, it goes zero, 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 zero. So it stays at zero. Versus for n is equal to one, you get zero, one, two, five, twenty-six. Zero, one, two, five. 26 so explodes and for n is equal to minus 1 you get minus 1 0 minus 1 0 uh, which it means that just does not explode or remains finite and if you use uh, minus 2 you get minus 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 so it remains finite and if you use minus 3 it explodes so this means that uh, for minus 1, for 0, minus 1 and minus 2, it remains finite, for 1 and 3, minus 3, it, remains, it explodes. So we would like to know which numbers, uh, for which numbers it explodes and for which numbers it remains finite. And that's pretty simple, we can just even use Python to do all the math for us. Um, we can just use something like x equals numpy dot arrange between minus 3 and 3. Uh, that's going to give us all the numbers between minus 3 and 3. We start C set at 0 as always. Zeros like x. And we just say r is the first value of x. That's where we're going to store all the results for i in range 10. Set is equal to set times set plus n, which is the Mandelbrot formula and r dot append numpy dot as but just to keep positive numbers here um, z um, and that's it we can see the results uh, kind of hard to read it's easier if we just format it a little bit uh, for example let's add some tabs in between um, the flash t flash t dot join map Esther and line. Yep, that makes it much easier. So you get for zero what we saw, stays at zero for minus one and it iterates between one and zero. For minus two, it, it, it stays at two. For minus three, it explodes. For one, it explodes. For two, it explodes. But now that we have this code here, we can actually take it and run it for a uh, finer grid. For example, 0 0.01. Um, and now if we 
look at it, it's kind of hard to see what the results are. So instead of looking at it like this, we're just gonna plot it. Uh, let's create a figure. Fix size equals 10 comma 10. And then uh, and show our extent x dot min x dot max 0 10 um, nothing and that's because uh, we have to check where the numbers uh, grew too much there you go now you can see there is this weird figure uh, that's because we can do more iterations and we clearly see that the numbers in between these two um, I'll explain the color bar. So yeah, the numbers uh, here stay basically remain finite. The other numbers just grow tremendously. Um, easy. So we can see what are the boundaries of this region. It's pretty easy. We just use uh, the minimum value of um, of the last element, which is minus two, and the maximum will be 0 0.25. So between minus two and 0 0.25, the numbers remain finite for other num for any other number in the uh, real uh, in the real set. This Mandelbrot set will, will the, the other numbers won't be part of the Mandelbrot set. Um, doing this for the complex numbers is actually just as easy. We just take this. But instead of having x in a single line, we just have um, a couple of x's. So let's, let's define a range. Uh, minus 2, comma 1, y and y equals minus 1, comma 1. So that this will be the range in the complex plane. Let's define a delta just because it's always easy to have a delta to, to define these steps. Uh, instead of having a single line, we're just going to have a real line and an imaginary line and in this case the the real line will be uh, between x and x and then the imaginary line will be between y and y and let's take this away There you go, so you see you, you get the real numbers just between minus two and, and one, and the imaginary are between minus one and one. So we can use those two and the fact that Python has native, uh, native complex numbers. So we can just generate the complex matrix by doing the real part plus one j times imaginary part uh, and then we just reshape it into the right shape uh, I am dot shape zero minus one dot t and here we just have the imaginary plane between minus two and in minus two real minus one in imaginary two one one now we can use this imaginary plane to apply the Mandelbrot uh, equation. We need a C, which is just um, an, a, a number like, like the set is gonna be zeros like C. Um, and then we just use for I in range 100, set is equal to set times set plus C, which is the Mandelbrot equation. And let's plot it. bit to compute and there you go that's the Mandelbrot set the Mandelbrot set is all the black numbers 
any other number it just escaped to infinity and like you can see it has these very crazy shapes with a lot of points but this is not the same plot that we usually see we usually see more colors and that's because the Mandelbrot set is the black region here but you, you can also plot how fast it escapes so if we take this code that we have here we can actually um, plot the escape velocity we can call it and to do that it's pretty simple we just keep track of how fast the numbers are growing uh, we use uh, for example here uh, escape is equal to numpy dot c dos like numpy absolute c so we start everything at zero but in this case it's zero uh, absolute number and then uh, we just keep track of which numbers have um, exploded to infinity we know that any number outside the radius of four uh, is gonna keep on growing absolute c so if a number is bigger than four we know that that number is going to escape and if it hasn't escaped yet we can just keep track of the index escape idx equals to i and if we print if we plot this uh, we get the um, Mandelbrot set here you go this is the Mandelbrot set with the escape velocity plotted as you can tell it's very complex it has a lot of interesting things and we can take this uh, code which is very short and use it to to, to see the Mandelbrot set around arbitrary points so for example we say plot uh, Mandelbrot x x y y we can say for example delta is equal to x minus x divided by 300 that sounds reasonable and then we can say plot mandel brought it minus 2 and 1 1 minus 1 and 1 and that just plots the mandelbrot set or if for example you can take this figure outside <coughs> um, we can also for example um, have a better function like um, plot mandel brought at x and y and delta and then that's just gonna be plot mandel brought x minus delta x plus delta y minus delta y plus delta and that allows us to look at the uh, behavior in a specific point for example we can do minus 0.5 and minus point 75 uh, 1 and this is what it looks like uh, which is about this number and then um, we can make we can get smaller and we can get closer and we can keep on like getting closer and closer and closer um, so for example I like this point between 75 and 25 and you see the 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 detail keeps on going um, you can actually keep on going inside and this won't change much and that's it I just wanted to show you how to easily plot the Mandelbrot set um, if you have any questions or comments just leave them below and let me know thank you